Good day, Spartan teachers. This is Mr. Kortoth here. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use your secondary monitor to show more desktop space and be able to utilize it for any synchronous instruction or just having more, re more real estate to uh, have all your tabs open for your content and student tracking and etc. So what you're going to need is a secondary monitor. You should have already indicated on the uh, question I sent out last week if you need a monitor so this is the one I'm going to be using here with that you need a power cable and you're going to need a, a video cable now the majority of you're going to have this cable right here it's going to be uh, having a blue end it's called a VGA cable and we're going to use the right side of our laptops that we received in order to display our laptop on the monitor so make sure you just go ahead and plug it in you don't need to screw it in there are no screw holes on it and we're going to change a quick setting on our uh, display uh, once it's all connected. So take just a moment here. You're going to notice here that on my new display that my screen is mirrored compared to what I have my desktop. So what I see on my laptop screen here is I'm seeing the same thing on the uh, new monitor. Some of you may like that. My recommendation for those doing synchronous instruction in particular, or with uh, those who are having a specific period or having a specific class all day long for virtual, is that you extend your display. And this is really easy to do. On your laptop, all you need to do is right click on your uh, screen. And at the very bottom, you're gonna have display settings. You're gonna click on that button, and it's gonna bring up this option within the settings menu for your display. You need to scroll down to the bottom here where it says multiple displays. Currently yours will say duplicate these displays. Change that to extend these displays. And we're gonna keep the changes. And what that does is currently on my laptop, I can still see my display settings. But now on my secondary monitor, uh, it is now an extended desktop. So it's essentially I have a larger desktop to drag things over. So if I wanted to have say uh, a Google Meet, on my right hand side and keep my notes or my slides on the left hand side I can do that I can click and drag over to the screen one window here and have this window blank right here as well which is actually very important when it comes to Google Meet as well when it comes to sharing your screen so there'll be a separate video for how to share your screen with Google Meet and how you can have certain things displayed on one screen and have certain things displayed on another screen that way your students can only see certain documentation. All right, if you have any questions on how to set up your monitor, please let me know.